Hello, I'm here to read you the wonderful story of Dogzilla. So, by Dave P. Pilkey. So, it was summertime in the city of Mouseopolis, and mice from all corners of the community had come together to compete in the first annual barbecue cook-off. As the cook-off got underway, smoke from the hot grills lifted the irresistible scent of barbecue sauce over the roof tops of the city. A gentle wind carried the mouth-watering smell into the distance, right over the top of an ancient crater. Before long, a strange and mysterious sound was heard. Sniff, sniff, sniff. All at once, the volcano began to tremble. And suddenly, up from the depths of the earth came the most terrifying creature ever known to mouse kind, the dreadful Dogzilla. Immediately, soldiers were sent out to stop the mighty Dogzilla. The heroic troops were led by the brave commanding officer, the Big Cheese. All right, you old flea bag, squeaked the Big Cheese. Get those paws in the air. You're coming with us. Without warning, the monstrous mutt breathed her horrible breath into the mice. <sighs> Doggy breath, screamed the soldiers. Run for your lives. Hey, come back here, shouted the big cheese to the troops. What are you, men or mice? We're mice, they squeaked. Hmm, said the big cheese. You're right. Wait for me. The colossal canine followed the troops back to Mouseopolis, licking all of the food in her path. Afterward, Dogzilla wandered through the city streets, doing those things come naturally to the dogs. Dogzilla, chase cars right off the highway. Dogzilla chewed up furniture from the, and the furniture store as well. And Dogzilla dug up bones from the Museum of Natural History. Meanwhile, the Big Cheese had organized the emergency meeting with one of the city's greatest scientific minds, Professor Scarlett O'Harry. Gentle mice, said the pr Professor O'Harry, the monstrous comes from the prehistoric times. It is perhaps millions of years old. Maybe we could teach it to do something positive for the community, suggested the Big Cheese. I'm afraid not, said Professor O'Harry. You can't teach an old dog new tricks. If we're going to defeat this dog, we've got to think of like a dog. We've got to find something that all dogs are afraid of. Something that will scare this beast away from Mausopolis forever. I've got an idea, squeaked the big cheese. Within minutes, the mice had assembled at the center of town. All right, dogzilla, shouted the big cheese. No more Mr. Mice Guy. It's bath time. Suddenly, a blast of warm, sudsy water uh, hit Dogzilla with tremendous force. The panicking pooch let out a burst of hot, fiery breath. The chase was on. Ah, ah. The big cheese tried to catch up with the dog with relish he could never muster. Oh. Dogzilla hightailed it out of the town, backed into the mouth of the ancient volcano. Well, I'll be doggone, squeaked the big cheese. It worked. With the horrifying memory of the bubble bath etched in her mind, Dogzilla never returned to Mausopolis. Ah, ah. Within a year, Mausopolis had rebuilt itself just in the time for the second annual uh, barbecue cook-off. The, the mice of Mausopolis fired up the grills confident that they would never see or hear from Dogzilla again. However, there was one thing they had never counted on. Puppies! <sighs> Thank you so much. Hope you enjoyed the story.